Before arriving at Tindiri Village, I had already formed an image of what I thought it would be like in my head. I expected to walk in, seeing children who didn't have families being loved and cared for by adults, which they were. Every child belonged to a house with a house mother who cared for them and loved them as their own. But what I didn't expect was the extent that children took care of each other. During our time there, we rarely saw the house mothers out with the children. The village was pretty large, but even the littlest of kids were allowed to run around freely without an adult. The kids all simply took care of each other. Everyone looked after everyone. We experienced such a sense of community there. The older girls would make meals for their house mothers rather than the moms making food for their children. The little boys would pump water and the children would work on laundry throughout the day. But it wasn't done in a way that was out of the ordinary for them. There was simply an understanding to take care of each other. It was just their way of life. Not only did we notice this sense of community in Tindiri, but throughout Malawi as well. Their communities are a crucial part of their life. They depend on each other for support, resources, and survival in general. Unlike in more developed countries such as the United States, it is simply not beneficial to be independent from the community. Caring only about yourself and personal gain is just not in most of their mindsets. The people of Malawi had such strong relationships and bonds with those around them. This is something that I truly envy in their lifestyle and plan to bring.